the next ratio we are going to see is operating profit margin similar to gross profit margin this is also calculated on a base of sales so operating profit implies after paying for all the operating expense which includes cost of goods sold and other operating expense and depreciation and amortization what proportion of sales is being saved by the company after paying all the operating pro expenses what proportion of sales is being sa saved by the company so higher the saving better it is and hence in this case also we would ideally want to have higher operating profit so higher the number better it is let's go ahead and calculate this number operating profit is here and net sales is here already we have taken it if you calculate the number then you can see like the gross profit margin this number has also decreased but probably I would say the proportion has been better so here it has decreased by almost three percentage points here it has decreased only by two percentage points so while overall it has declined but uh, the company was able to save on some indirect expenses during the year right while the operating profit margin has declined no doubt since the number of since the decline is better than gross profit margin we can say that the company was able to save some cost in indirect costs right this is how we have to look at operating profit margin